Hello, this is Mark Weiss with Weiss Solutions. I'm bringing you this video to help you get through the problem with Sandboxy crashing your computer. Microsoft has put out a patch on their patch Tuesday of the second Tuesday of every month, and that was yesterday, um, October 13th, 2015. They have fixed a security hole in their software, but in so doing, it's caused a catastrophic problem with Sandboxy where it crashes the computer. What I'm going to show you is how to disable Sandboxy for the meanwhile until the people at Sandboxy have fixed the problem. I will then send out another email with a link to another video to show you how to turn Sandboxy back on. So let me show you what happens. If you were to start Chrome, Chrome would begin but you would get these errors and I'll just take a second just to let you look at them. You do not want to do anything with this except for close this box. Do not touch Chrome. Touching Chrome could cause your computer to crash. You want to go down to the bottom right of the screen where the system tray is. I'm moving my mouse. Click on the Show Hidden Icons icon and you will see Sandboxy here. The safe way to close the browser is to right click on the Sandboxy icon and left click on Terminate All Programs. Click Yes on the Sandbox control window. This will safely close the browser. It doesn't matter if it, what browser it is, it will safely close it. You can then left click on the Show Hidden Icons icon again in the system tray and double click on the Sandboxy control icon. Then we go to sand, click on Sandbox and then the rest you do not have to click. You just move your mouse to the default box, then move your mouse down to Sandbox Settings, and then left click on the Sandbox Settings. Left click on the plus sign to the left of Applications. Left click on the plus sign next to Web Browser. Then click on Internet Explorer. Double click on the plus sign, the first one that says Force Internet Explorer to run in this sandbox. After we double click, we click apply, left click apply on the bottom right of the screen. We then click on the Firefox and do the same thing. Double click on the plus to stop Sandbox from working with Firefox. Apply. And then the last one is the Google Chrome. We double click again to disable a forcing Google Chrome to work within Sandbox. Left click on apply, then click OK click OK again in the Sandbox control and close uh, Sandboxy control window by left clicking on the red box with the white X in it. Lastly, clicking Sandbox control. If you are now that you can see we can start Chrome it may say restore pages I'm gonna choose not to. Um, the last thing is is you need to be very careful where you go on the internet now. You can't be as bold because you're not protected by the sandbox. One of the things that I've put on most people's computers is something called My Woot. It shows up here and in Firefox it will show up between the two windows right here. So what you can do to get My Woot if you don't have it is to go to www myw.ot.com. This is already installed on this computer, but if you click on the install here, it will bring up uh, on the top left a would you like to in something to do with would you like to install it? Just say yes. It may require an additional click, um, and then um, and then you'll have it, and it will be sitting here. And if you're on a safe site, it will be green. Let me show you why this is so important, because if you were to do a Google search of antivirus, it will tell you all the websites that you're going to and if they are safe. You can see that some of them are gray. Well, sometimes some of them come red, even in the Google ads. Um, so the idea is, is that if we look here, this shows you that from red all the way to green, that this is trustworthy and the farther down you go the less trustworthy it is and this will tell you for both child uh, safety which is on the right here and for just general trustworthiness um, I just try to stay on the light green and the green sites 
that's a secondary safety for you uh, while Sandboxy is not available. As soon as I find out that Sandboxy has been fixed and I've tested it, I will go ahead and send out another email telling you how to turn Sandboxy back on. Sorry for the trouble, and if you have any questions, please give me a call at 714-342-2623 if you want a training video on how to actually install my Woot on the browsers. If I get enough calls, I'll go ahead and make one. Thank you. Bye.